welcome to this week's special Thursday edition of Wise Wednesday. I'm happy to bring you a brand new product from the Wise Company, the Wise Watch 47mm. If you're one of the few lucky ones who pre-ordered back around Thanksgiving, you're starting to just see these show up now in your mailbox almost Easter. They set a high bar for this product and a very low price. They wanted to sell 20,000 of these and ended up selling a record 104,000 watches by the time of this recording. And to their credit, they just posted today that 30% of all pre-orders have shipped. This product was not incredibly well advertised in its infancy, and Wise already had an aggressively priced fitness band solution with Alexa capabilities, so what were they going to make to compete with themselves? This thing is competitive though, not head to head with an Apple Watch One even, or a Samsung gear line, but with the preconceived notion that watches have to be expensive to be smart. It's priced so low you'd pay twice as much as it costs just in sales tax to get your hands on an Apple device. Today in my video, I'll show you how the watch works and what it can do, and I'll wrap up with some feedback on my first few days of ownership and some areas where they might want to improve. Time codes are in the description if you want to jump around, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, you'll want to consider that as next week I'm going to post the five must-know tips for setting up your Wise watch, including how you can dress up your new watch with an aftermarket band for super cheap. Hopefully the pre-orders will have arrived by then, if not, keep it bookmarked, it's going to be a really good video when they do. So let's talk about what this watch can do. On its face, yes, pun intended, the watch can show multiple distinct watch faces. You can preload up to three different faces from the app with different photographs. Unfortunately, you're limited to three faces total with or without photos, and the upload process itself is very time consuming. Swiping up brings up a simple yet effective four button control panel with battery, brightness control, a do not disturb bell icon, which is kind of ironic considering this has no speaker, and a find my phone feature that will ring your phone even if it's on silent. In this house, that's worth the price of admission right there. There's a little bug for the weather up top, which will update as long as your phone is nearby and has the Wise app running in background mode. More on that in next week's tip video. Swiping back down closes that window and swiping down again from the top brings up your notification list. This is one of the smart features that I believe adds value in a watch. If your phone is ringing or you get notifications from one of your pre-selected apps, you'll feel a vibration and see a visual notice here. Tapping on the notification will show the full notification and it'll even scroll long lists of notifications easily. Swiping in from the left of the clock face shows you the fitness data. This data has generally been good, though the step counter can be a little optimistic at times. When I brush out this beautiful man mane with my left hand, I can generally count on a few hundred extra steps. Great when I'm competing with my wife in fitness challenges, and easier than strapping the watch on my dog for a few hours and play fetch like I used to do. Just don't tell her I told you that. The last and largest section is the nine icon menu when you swipe in from the right side. These icons are easily laid out and really understandable. You have a fitness icon, tap that when you're ready to work out and it'll keep tabs on that activity. Next is the tracking data icon which will let you know your step count, calorie burn, and other pretty graphs of this data by hour. After that is the O2 meter, also called a pulse oximeter. This is supposed to measure the amount of oxygen in your blood, but it's both interesting and a debatable topic. The first Apple Watch to support this feature was the Apple Watch 6, starting at $400. Is it perfect? Based on how this technology works, using light detectors, you can get results out of a fruit basket. And if you're all tatted up, move along. It does appear to be accurate as some of the fingertip budget readers, but the jury's still out on this one. Same thing with the next icon, the heart rate monitor. It's definitely more accurate than the O2 meter, but several external factors, including how tightly you wear it, or if you're in a bright or a dark room, can affect your results. The next icon is the sleep icon, which tracks your sleeping habits. Fortunately, I gave up on sleep long ago and I never have to worry about this one. But it does work if you wear it at night, 
though I haven't found where you can see or trend more than one night's worth of data. The alarm icon is to the right of that and features a simple alarm UI which is easy to set up and control. Unfortunately, here's a big limitation. The alarm is vibration only because this device doesn't have a speaker. But it is continuous vibration, so eventually you should feel it if you're wearing it. Unless you're running a jackhammer. Then no. <laughs> On the last row, we start with a timer. Excellent for cooking, putting the kids in timeout, or reminding yourself to do something at a specific interval. It also features a convenient repeat option if you're making the perfect ribeye. Little Johnny seasoning, three minutes on each side, rest for 10, and eat. Steaks anyone? Next is one of the neatest buttons or features this has, but also one of the hardest to set up properly, the shortcuts menu. This is where you'll need your phone as you can configure 10 different shortcuts to manage your WISE ecosystem, to turn things on and off like camera notifications, lights, or maybe even change the colors of your WISE bulbs. But the process does take some setup and don't expect to be able to configure it all from the watch, you can only activate them from the watch. Last on this row is the weather icon which will show you the current conditions as well as a few days ahead. Interestingly, this is not the last icon and it took me a few times to find the hidden icon on this page. Swipe up again from the bottom to see the next icon, a gear to change settings directly on your watch. I won't go into most of these but most of us won't be playing with much in here. So that's the basics of how you navigate around the Wise Watch and some of its common features. So let's start talking about what it's missing. Because there is no speaker and no microphone, you're not going to control your Alexa or other smart assistant with it. That's not a big deal for many people, and for some, we'd rather our watch wasn't spying on us all the time. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. There is no Wi-Fi connection on the watch, so when you're out of range of your phone, the watch is not going to be getting its own notification stream. You'll have to enable Bluetooth and be within Bluetooth range of your phone for some of the advanced features like notifications and shortcuts to work. So where do they nail it? Battery life. This is where this watch absolutely destroys the Apple Watch and Samsung. Because they didn't have to power up a Wi-Fi connection, complex accelerometers, GPS, or any other add-on gadgets, this watch lasts nearly 10 days. I only charge it after the fourth day and I've been using it very heavily and always on full brightness. That was only using 60% of the battery, so their claim of nine days of battery life to me is very believable and accurate. This is an area where it kills my Apple Watch, which lasts barely 24 hours of heavy use, where I have to be without it for an hour at least for it to come back to life. Charging is really easy and the charger is magnetic just like the Apple Watch, so it doesn't let you put it on incorrectly. So what do I think of this product overall? When I received the Wise doorbell, I was expecting features that I'd already become accustomed to and expected in other products like Ring, Uniden, and Amcrest and others had already made standard. If this is your first smartwatch, you'll be happy with the new features and the price is a great toe dip into the pool of wearable technology. I could see giving the smaller 44 millimeter version to my kids to help them remember to move and track their fitness data. With their first step into this new ecosystem, they definitely have room to iterate and improve, which we fully expect WISE will do, having seen them go from their original V2 to their V3 cameras. If you're expecting to control your television, use voice prompts like a smart assistant, get turn-by-turn -turn directions, make phone calls when your hands are tied up, pay for things, check into your flights, or want to load any custom apps on this thing, it's not the watch for you. And that's okay too. This is starting to become an ongoing problem. They're pricing things so aggressively that they blow out the pre-orders on products that people know little to nothing about. They could sell a wise smart banana peeler and probably corner the market on that. Heck, I'd buy one just for the sticker and a good story. I still think they should consider a pro line of devices that have more features, even if they cost a little bit more. As the reviews are rolling in, it's definitely one of those products that will either delight you or it might disappoint you. But no matter what, you can't say it isn't an excellent value. This has been John, the Net Guy. Thanks for watching.